He was there. God. Oh. Here comes a bad guy. <laughs> yeah. I just couldn't shoot fast enough. Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty with the weirdest gun that I have ever used in a Call of Duty title. Not weird by the way it looks. I mean, there's been some strange guns. I ain't gonna lie to you about that. But weird in the way that it operates. I mean, it's very powerful and it gets you killed. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's take a look at how we configured the BOW-27 Jack Death March version. And before we get into it, you know, a Death March is something that is long and painful. The Bataan Death March in World War II. The BOW makes the game some sometimes a bit long and a bit painful. So let's take a look at the configuration. First, I'm starting with paracord grip for the underbarrel. You can see that the sprint to fire is brought down to 245 milliseconds, but that's not gonna make any difference. And I'll show you why in a second. ADS movement speed, three milliseconds. You're gonna be dodging and the movement speed goes up. Let's go to the next attachment. I only have four on this one and that is the Jack Death March itself. And you can see that the damage is up to 100 for everything essentially which significant increase in damage not quite a one-shot kill but it's a burst weapon so you get the burst into somebody they're gonna fall oops but look at the effective damage range 1.5 meters minimum damage range however goes out to 64 meters and you're gonna find that you're gonna get a lot of one burst kills out further down the road I got them at 25 30 meters bullet velocity Look at that, 1,860 meters per second. So it's going to go pretty quickly. And the rate of fire is a complete lie. 994.2 rounds per minute and maybe inside a burst, that's what it is. But there's a burst delay at the front of pulling the trigger and a burst delay at the end. In fact, in fact, let's go look at that right now. Okay, I'm going to tell you when I pull the trigger. Pulling the trigger, pulling the trigger, pull. You can see that it kind of fire comes up and it warms the thing up. Let's look at him down sight. Pull. And you see there's significant gun kick. Pull. You see the delay there? Man, it's like you're standing there in your underwear facing the enemy waiting for your gun to shoot so let's go back and look at the rest of the attachments i use the hammer grip and that helps with the ads speed the sprint to fire speed listen none of that really matters it really doesn't because you're waiting when you pull the trigger on the bullets to start flying don't even worry about the recoil on the gun kick and the clearance light stock, I swear, all of these attachments are more like placebos. Like I said, it's a weird gun, and you're going to wait on the gun to decide to fire once you pull the trigger. If you're rushing with it, you're in trouble. Anyway, maybe you'll like this thing. Maybe a lot of people will like it. So, Grandpa, I'm going to take it onto the field of honor. See how it did for me? See what it did to my enemies? If it gacked them because they could not fire their weapons, they were laughing so hard. Let's go. The Bow 27 Jack Death March configuration. Pull the so trigger yeah, and nothing the happens trigger. till it happens. Back at the Air Force I'll Academy when trigger, I was a basic happens. cadet in 1975, the upperclassmen taught us. There you go. Never complain, never explain. So I'm not going to complain about the weapon in my hands, at least not too much. And I'm not going to explain, meaning you own your mistakes. Don't try to explain them away. My mistake was equipping the da Jack Death March. It may work good for you. So you pull the trigger, you wait, and hopefully the enemy doesn't pull his trigger at you. Oh. Purposefully did not melee that guy because I wanted to see what it would take. Now, it may be a great weapon for some of you, I'll be honest, because I like to rush, I like to move, I don't like to stay there and hold down lanes. And some of you that play teamed up, might be responsible for lanes and this would be a great weapon for you and i'd had enough of it on that first map so i switched to a stalker and you know why because when i pull the trigger on a sniper rifle may not hit the guy but the bullet flies oops every time bullet flies 
So this is a commercial. We'll get back to the Bow 27 Jack Death March in a second. I just want to get my self-respect back here and pull the trigger and have a bullet do something. See there? Even at range. Even up close. Now, it's ironic that you can run more with a sniper rifle than you can with the BAL-27 Jack Death March. I keep saying Jack Death March. There's the same map, but only this one's kind of cartoony. You just see, I would have gotten both of those guys there. And I was holding down a lane there. I was holding, I was soaking, I was stewing in the hard point. Now, I won't go wimpy on you and change out the bow. This is going to be an honest map with the bow 27 Jack Death March. And really, what it does is it put me on a death march because it was painful. But I keep saying this. Some of you talented guys that can pull the trigger, pop out of cover, and let the bullets fly, can time that right, are going to do good with this. It's powerful. See, that's about 30 meters, and I know it advertises 1.5 meters for effective damage range, but that was about 25 to 30, and it was a one-burst kill. Of course, I, look at this guy popping up and down. So I timed it and pulled the trigger before I saw his head, and he jumped right into the bullets. Pop that gourd. And this is where I was in trouble. But once again, you pull the trigger and move the weapon around, and hopefully you're tracking the other person. That's where it's easy if somebody's camping. It's a good weapon to get the campers as long as they're not looking at you. And these poor dog face, dog head there. I, I like to see these tack insertions. Because I wait till they insert and then gack them right away. Now, I turned down the sound a lot because I was teamed up, I think, with six people. This was during my stream. And these guys just weren't paying attention. So we were all talking, and I was doing what I said I never do complain. And that time I didn't get the tack insertion. She tack inserted right on me. So let me know what you think about it if you've tried it out. There's another 30-meter kill. Is it a good weapon for you? Am I using it wrong? Comment below, please. Also, I appreciate it if you like and subscribe. It helps me, helps the family. The channel's growing fast. Community is growing. Cheers and peace to you.